A mentally ill teenager has unalived himself because his parents ignored him and they were dumb enough not to secure any of the firearms that are in the household. And, you know, you would think that this is a pretty open and shut case. The parents are to blame here, but no. Apparently, the AI that the teenager has flirted with was the to blame here. And, surprise, surprise, the parents are now basically suing the company behind said AI chatbot in order to, well, get even with them. Now, you would think that this would be the end of this video, but this is not. The reason I made this video all of a sudden is because of Moist Critical, who unfortunately has made a pretty dumbass video on the whole subject. Basically, what you need to know is that he just dunked on the entire uh, company that was behind the AI chatbot, and he just went on this whole rant. Uh, basically just shitting on the entire company without obviously realizing who the real idiots of this situation is, and that is, of course, the parents. So, with all this in mind, I think that it's important that I really try and frame this a different way, because you, if any of you lived through the 90s or even to the 2000s, this would sound familiar, right? Parents blame uh, something related to technology because, oh, it's the big scary thing. Yeah, it's basically the whole video game violence thing. And that is ultimately why this is dumb, right? Essentially, the press, as well as one of the biggest YouTubers to ever grace the platform, have essentially leaned on this narrative of, you know, in this case, AI chatbots cause violence, or unalive, I should say. Uh, and I think it's the same dumb logic, right? At the end of the day, it was just bad parenting that has ultimately killed this poor teenager. And once again, it really just shows not only the stigma that often follows with people who are mentally ill and struggle with, you know, thoughts of unaliving themselves, but also just simply... I mean, this doesn't just apply to people who are you know, contemplating unaliving themselves. It basically applies to all of mental illness. And I refuse to let this slip by, uh, you know, moist critical. I really think that this is just the dumbest video that he has made. And to be honest, it's a shame that moist critical has even went as far as to make such a dumb video. But, but I think this wouldn't be the first time he has done something really stupid, right? In one of his videos, I'm not quite sure which one it was, but I think it was him basically calling out some gaming industries crap. He ended up making an ad spot for what was essentially uh, a loan, a, a loan company. And a lot of people were quick to notice that. Moist Critical didn't even address this, right? So I think this is ultimately a reminder of how unperfect Moist Critical is. I hope he does eventually address this in some future video but you know as someone who likes tech and is interested in AI in, in, in its capacities for good I don't think this is something that I should let slip right on a final note this is not the announcement video that I mentioned on my Twitter and my other social media platforms that one was about my characters and what I plan to do with them and essentially showing my plans for the channel and moving forward. And that is ultimately what it was actually about. It wasn't anything to do with Moist Critical or this situation. This was just one of those things that I felt motivated to do simply because I really felt like it was very important because, um, you know, I care about AI in the sense that I care about its good side, I care about how it could potentially help people in a good way. I am well aware that it has definitely been bad for several artists, but again, I think it's more about how you use AI rather than just whether or not it's a threat to artists. It's only a threat because of the people that use it, and unfortunately it's usually a bunch of, you know, uh, corpos that just don't know any better, and that ultimately is why technically, to some people, uh, AI is really bad, right? And also, going back to that whole AI thing, 
I really think the reason, you know, people and many YouTubers like uh, Moist Critical have essentially decided to dunk on the AI company behind the chatbot is because there's a lot of salt that has already been developing before this even happened, right? Um, and this salt, I think, comes from the fact that, well, you know, it's not really about attacking the technology because it's like rotten to its core or something like that. I think it's more because people generally resent the rich people that are behind AI, you know, like Sam Altman, for example. And, you know, it, it, I really feel like this is like, I understand why people are salty about AI, especially if you're like an artist that doesn't want to have their uh, art being stolen. But this is not the way to go, right? This is not the way to actually do that because if you're just going to end up, you know, just ignoring real causes to real problems just because you have a vendetta for AI, this is just bullshit in the end. And I would really sincerely ask you not to just simply go for that knee-jerk reaction of AI bad, okay? AI is definitely can be used for good. I mean, it can definitely streamline a lot of animation. So, you know, for example, uh, usually what animators do is that they draw like three frames for like the main poses that it's going to transition from point A to point B and all that. And essentially AI could potentially do is that they could just, uh, you know, you could tell the AI to draw the in-between frames and that could easily make, you know, uh, Disney Renaissance like animation happen a lot faster and be less and be less uh, la labor intensive, and I think that's one of the main things that it could do among many other things. I could be here all day just talking about the good things about AI, but I will save that for another video because I really think that this is all I have to say about this situation. Screw you. Moist Critical for just not doing your research and misinforming thousands of people on something that you clearly have no idea what it's actually about. This isn't about AI. This is about shitty parenting. Alright, I'm going to move to a sort of podcast style commentary on the situation. Um, sorry for the random introduction again, but uh, I thought this would be a good way to uh, lengthen the video and maybe get some of that sweet, sweet uh, ad revenue if I'm even eligible to have it, but we'll see. Hi, this is Rexy Ronan. Uh, thank you for joining me on my inner space adventure. Uh, I have a friend here who is going to introduce themselves. Uh, go ahead. Hello. Hello, I'm FD, and here over here, I also have another person with me. Hi. I, I can barely hear you, honestly. Let me, let me just raise your volume. Uh, all right, say something. Yeah, okay, let's, re let's redo that. <laughs> I... Well, anyway. Also, Rue Ru tried to be a bit louder. <laughs> Alright, uh, Rue's... Rue, say something. Uh, hello? There we go. So, anyway, um... We're reacting to a rather recent event regarding uh, Moist Critical and his reaction to, uh, I think it was character AI that was basically uh, under fire right now. Yes, basically that. So yeah. Like, if I'm supposed to be honest, Charlie didn't do any research this time. Like, some of the videos he did were basically... Videos before there were hints of him basically just reciting the Wikipedia with zero research, but... Wow, it's... I don't even know what he researched because, to be honest, it was either Twitter or it was basically just the shitty news sites with clickbait, you know. I mean, yeah, some of the some of the news that I've seen are very clickbaity. I'm just gonna send you the I'm I just mean, gonna send you the headlines because they are wow. Yeah, no, I mean, Moist they Critical. Really, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. You you can continue. Um, right. So right. Moist Critical was always kind of a clickbaity channel to begin with. I always figured that he was all about that drama. And, uh, I don't know, it, it's like I was conflicted, because uh, on one hand, he does seem like a character with some integrity, but then, on the other hand, he's just making slop. 
Anyway, let me. Uh... Yeah, that is that is true, to be honest. But I'm surprised at the fact that Charlie didn't even realize that character AI is is basically not a uh, you know a chatting bot. It's not a chat bot. It's basically a roleplay bot. And he did not realize that basically you choose how the roleplay goes and it follows their lead. Like there's no learning factor, no agenda and whatnot. You know. I mean that should have been obvious like, from the start. Yeah, I, I have no idea how he overlooked that or who even, like, what sources he even had. I mean, it's, yeah, he's a slop channel. I don't think we should have really been surprised at this point considering all the stuff that he's been putting out lately. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, uh, let me just read the headlines like, here. A uh, boy, yeah. 14 years old, falls in love with Daenerys Tar... Targer I, I think this is a... Uh, Oh yeah, I think it's a, it's a Game of Thrones character, right? With Daenerys yeah. Targaryen. There we go. I, it's just that I thought it was written differently. But anyway, let me just read this again. Boy 14 falls in love with Daenerys Targaryen chatbot, ends his life after being told to come home, quote unquote. This kind of just feels like uh, a bit of a misconstrued because, uh, like you said, this wasn't a chat bot; it was a role play bot. And uh, yeah, he, the fact that he just killed himself allegedly because the chat bot told her told him to come home already shows that he was mentally ill to begin with. So honestly, like, if I'm supposed to be like honest, like the child clearly had mental issues. But, like, at the bottom of each chat it says all the stuff characters say is made up. Like, it's hard to miss. It's right below the text box. Yeah, no. And... Like, there's no way to that. And uh, not gonna even talk about the ch fact that the character AI has many chat restrictions. Like, it censors every single bot message it detects that has any gore, any sexual connotations. It is immediately stopped and... Yeah, not to mention that there's even the option of choosing different dialogues. You can basically scroll through the messages and pick whatever you like. Like, is that like it's really like it's it's a role play? Yeah, no. I... And one of the one of the things that made me really mad is that the fact that Charlie basically just keeps talking shit on the AI itself, but doesn't realize or doesn't even say that the parents are heavily at fault. They did not notice their struggling child. They he didn't say anything basically about the father leaving his literal gun out like gun needs to be securely hidden and locked away like no matter what honestly you can tell that these were probably helicopter parents of anything and um honestly i think yeah definitely from what little Weird. information we have gotten from these shitty articles we can already tell that this is like like, this is not only just a problem with mental illness around the world, but this is a problem in America, specifically regarding guns, because, uh, you know, we're all about that freedom of guns, but hardly most of us ever really seem to be about the responsibility that comes with it. Yeah, if I'm supposed to be honest, my European brain cannot comprehend this. Yeah, no, I mean... Like... I don't know. I'm gonna be a little neutral on the whole gun thing, but for the most part, I really think that if they if they really want to have that freedom for, for having guns, which you know it's understandable considering their history, I think they really need to start having the responsibility for it as well. And this is not it, right? This Absolutely. is just not it. How you, you know, express your right to bear arms. Now I have, like, I'm not gonna basically just say that character AI is not at fault because character AI is at fault. For not basically, not uh, how do you explain it? They're basically promoting it to kids. You could say that they are basically just promoting it to kids. Yeah. Like there's no, there is no 18 plus. There is no age limit. Age limit. There is nothing basically. So they barely like, did a good uh, a job yeah. to even like prevent that. So okay. So maybe there is some like legal weight to the parents suing them, most Absolutely. likely because of that. Well, not really, but uh, that's one of the things that I have to admit that are pretty shitty because every single person in the community have been telling them to do it. And now, instead of doing that, after this event, they decided to delete every single chatbot that the kid that killed himself interacted with and made it even more family friendly, which is not what they should have done. They should have gone the Roblox way, 
since basically nobody's complaining about their ID verification. I mean, honestly, but it seems like the developers are interested in keeping their younger user base. I guess. Honestly, so, yeah, yeah. that that already shows just how clear of an agenda they already had. So I, I guess it's yeah, it's important that we mention that uh, you know, m you know. Uh, they're not saints, they're not angels, so obviously they had a bit of an agenda, and it's, and it's a shame they had to wait until a, a life has been taken in order for this to happen. This is not how it should be, right? Honestly, there's a huge chance that more lives were taken like this, because basically, if you consider how many adults use use this app, and the website, yeah, it, like, but it's not the chat, it's not the chatbot's fault, or the roleplay bot's fault. Like, you cannot really blame the bots, so... Yeah. Yeah. Because when you consider it, like... This is like alcohol or cigarettes, it's just an escape from reality for some people, so... Yeah, no, that, yeah. that is definitely something that, uh... Yeah, no, I, I really think that the way, uh, uh... Character AI reacted to the situation is questionable. But at the same time, you know, I really feel like it doesn't justify like spreading misinformation about that because I think, I think what makes uh, most critical like saying you know dunking on AI so morally reprehensible is that he is obscuring you know the real fault here, which is the parents, and there's just Absolutely. layers and layers of problems. You know, you have the shitty parenting, you have the lack of any real responsibility with firearms. And then of course can you I have mention real quick. What? The parents can I just mention something real quick? Sure, go ahead. So the parents knew about the fact that the kid was using the character AI website because they quite literally paid for the premium version of the they basically paid for the ten dollar subscription, I think it is. Look, I get that So they knew that Oh go ahead. Yeah. They knew that the kid was using it and Basically, there is even mention that the kid didn't talk to anyone else, and only the chatbots. Like, wasn't it a bit weird when the kid was constantly on their phone, you know, or on their PC? Like, yeah. There's some point at which is like, they had to know. Like, they had to know what it's like. There were it's... obvious warning signs that he was not mentally well. I mean, look, I get that sometimes parents leave their kids alone for the sake of privacy, but um, sometimes you really have to be on them because it, for because of situations like this, right? It may seem like stalking to the kid, but it, you really need to make sure that what they're consuming is there. I mean, like, you have to remove all the bad influences from, like, the kid's life in order for the kid to develop well, you know? I think that's like basic parenting yeah. 101. If I'm supposed to be like honest, yeah. It's if the kid didn't use character AI, they would be basically talking to someone on Discord or on any other social media instead and it would probably even be even more harmful. Like character AI is not really like the the devil here because yeah. They would e either turn. They would basically just turn to something else. It's, if AI wasn't a thing, like it's really not something you can argue. Yeah, I. I mean, if I were the judge for this, which is not something that I'm eligible to do, uh, I would say character AI is innocent most of the time. They still probably have some liability here, but uh, I'm guessing the dumb parents are gonna go ahead and uh, make a like a criminal sort of. I'm not sure if it's a criminal case or if it's like a civil case. I, I don't think any of the articles have really clarified that. So it really depends on what approach they take. But either way, I don't think they really have a lot of like... I mean, they might have some legal weight, but not a lot of it to like put uh, character AI in the, in the thing. But yeah. Uh, there was a last thing that I was going to mention here, which was, you know, I said, you know, there was a shitty parenting. Uh, the lack of gun control uh, within the parents' household, uh, but also just simply, which was the third one, which is uh, the stigma related to mental illness, right? Like, people just stigmatize mental illness and they, uh, they would rather scapegoat, you know, uh, character AI than to actually acknowledge that we have, like, a mental health crisis in, in the world. Absolutely. You know, and that, and someone right. who, who actually takes meds for this kind of stuff, I, I find this to be very, very heartbreaking, honestly. Very uh, frustrating, I might even add. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just going to mention that uh, there were other bots that were the kid was messaging. 
and uh, basically they never the parents or the mother never revealed what the chads were I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna say any conspiracy theories but there's a real chance why she didn't reveal the chats is the reason that there were there was not really nice stuff basically or stuff that was about her because the the bots were basically therapists and psychiatrists those two bots okay so, so you're saying that the the, the, yeah. the reason the data you know related to this kid hasn't been revealed is because the parents don't want to be basically doxing themselves of how shitty their parenting is which again kind of Absolutely. reinforces our point that the real the real clowns here are actually the parents who haven't even done shit to take take care of their child their child right honestly they did the worst thing that they could because right now it feels like they are actively actively just trying to cash grab and just monetize their son's death. Yeah, just, and just not even gonna mention the fact that they leaked his personal chats. He had with a chatbot to the entire world. Like, yeah, that's that's just in my opinion, it's fucked up. It's just coping. Like you know that meme of the soy jack just coping hard. I think it's huffing copium. I think it was. That's basically the parents right now. They're just coping really hard. Absolutely. Like I understand that they're grieving, but yeah, it's they're they're not in like sense. suing character AI is really not the way to go. Yeah, no, and one last thing that I wanted to kind of address here is on the creator side of things. Um, I, I know a lot of people like to contribute to like these AI chatbots and create them and all that, and some work does go into that. Maybe not in the same level as say an artist, but you know, some people do actually invest in creating these chatbots to make sure that they are as authentic to whatever they're supposed to be right absolutely and then you know you like have Charlie, these Charlie tries to make the point that the chatbot doesn't say that they say that they are real but when you think about it imagine that you're basically in your D&D campaign and you ask basically an NPC or someone there are you real of course they're gonna say that they are real it will break the entire roleplay. Like, yeah, no. It's one of the things that were like, yeah. Funny that you mentioned that. Was really cool. uh, fun like, yeah. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that because um, back then, I think it was around the 1980s in America, at least, they uh, were demonizing D and D for that exact same reason, for the exact same reason that uh, character AI is being demonized now, because uh, you know people don't yeah, know it's, about it's it. It's basically. Similar to how Doom was basically demonized due to the school shooting that happened. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna have to bleep that shit out. Oh my god, but but yeah, no. Um, uh, but yeah, that's kind of where we're dealing with here. It's just another panic, if you will, related to AI. And that's not to say there aren't any shady things about AI, but I think this is just taking it too far. Um, but yeah, the main point that I wanted to get across, which we kind of got out of it uh, off course here, was the the whole point that you're a creator who invested in this platform, and uh, you know, and now all of your hard work goes away because some insane kid interacted with it. And I think, and, and and I feel bad for all the people who were behind these chatbots that the kid chatted with, right? So yeah, yeah it, it, like I said, this was pretty bad on on character AI's part because it's not gonna really make it very enticing for anyone to like make more ch chatbots because it's like why should I do it there if if my hard work is just gonna get erased the moment some insane kid interacts with it? It's like what the frick? Yeah, and the fact that they they are basically going the other way and they're going like. To be essentially like how do you even say it more kid friendly like it's crazy i mean honestly they're just, people... they're just making it pg-13 and it's wild like they this is gonna kill the investors no one's gonna invest into this there's a thousand other basically bots that let you do not say for and whatnot and i can guarantee you that everyone will go to that every single investor will move on to that because there's no way anyone's gonna use uh, character AI bot that is basically gonna censor every single thing that is said. Yeah, no. Yeah, stupid. I mean, people don't go to AI just, you know, for PG-13 stuff. 
they go to that to get really, really horny and start doing some really fucked up shit with their Magic characters. Vent. They they also go there to vent. And now that one person has killed themselves while they were basically venting to it, now it's all gonna get banned? Like, that's stupid. I don't know. There's, they're just gonna move on to another app. Is that like it's gonna change anything? Yeah. I don't know. It really sucks, to be honest, that this kid just unalived themselves, and uh, they just basically, uh, yeah, it just sucks. Absolutely. So, uh, anyway, uh, Ru, do you have anything to say about this? Because uh, I, don't, I don't think I've heard you at once. Yeah, since you're basically uh, a user, let's just get your input on it. Yeah, I, I, you guys were just talking back and forth, so I didn't want to, like, <laughs> interrupt you guys or anything, but... Well, I guess it's your turn um, now. I guess, as someone who uses Canterbury a lot, and has used it to, like, vent to bots before, I've never, like... I've always understood that it was roleplay, and I've never felt compelled to do anything because of a bot. So I'd say if this kid was so emotionally fragile that this would happen, I'd say there was definitely more going on. Yeah, and unfortunately we're not going to be able to understand what was going on because as uh, me and FNAF team said, uh, the parents kind of obscured a lot of the data regarding the interactions between the kid and the chatbot or roleplay bot. Absolutely. Like, there's another layer to this all, and we will never know, because, of course, like, every side is trying to, you know, cover themselves, essentially. Yeah. Like, I, I get that they are grieving, but it's also, like, they are spreading misinformation that will just end up hurting more people. Yeah. Like, there, there's no real logic in holding an AI accountable for something, you know, I'm it was on the parents. You know what? I'm going to put this into perspective because, um, you know, I normally don't do this kind of content. And if this ends up becoming my type of content, so be it. But the reason I made this this whole video is because I really want... Uh, again, it's... I may as well just put this into perspective, right? And uh, the reason I did this video is because of what happens to the... I guess you could say the nuclear energy industry, right? Uh, specifically because it got a lot of bad press because of Chernobyl and uh, Fukushima and other you know nuclear accidents that have happened right and um, let's just put it this way uh, nuclear energy is literally the green energy that everyone wants to have but of course no one no investor in their right mind or would ever really invest in nuclear energy because well Chernobyl Fukushima and all those other horrible nuclear accidents even though now we understand them better than ever right but still people are ignorant right and that's because of misinformation spread by you know media and all that because of relating to like Chernobyl and Fukushima and I feel like a similar thing is gonna happen to AI if we don't you know make videos like this uh, so this is why this whole thing is a lot more serious than you know you would think it is so please don't 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 believe in whatever Moist Critical says. I know he's a guy of integrity, but just don't take whatever he says seriously, period. Always, always fact check your news. Always fact check because Yeah. Let's let's say it like this. Panic and fear sells. That's why all the news basically say stuff in ways in which it is technically correct, but it's also, you know, misleading, you could say. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. e even Pyro, even Pyro Cynical would not do this low. I at least he's a bit more honest about how sloppy he is. Absolutely. So, any any final thoughts, Rue? I think I kind of just got carried. We kind of got carried away here. So, any anything else? I mean, as an artist, I can understand why people are so hostile towards AI when any news about it comes out. But 
I don't think character AI or just the idea of roleplay bots in general is a bad thing because, I mean, as far as I've learned, I could be wrong, but as far as I learned, they train the bots with the conversations that we have with them rather than stealing. So I think that people are just, people are just quick to hop on the bandwagon of hating anything that's AI, which is why I think this has gained like so much hate towards it. In popularity. Honestly, so think... it wasn't that big of a news before Charlie covered it. And now since Charlie covered it with his negative talk, which was of course incorrect, it's gonna get even more hate. So it's basically like a tsunami right now. There's no way to really stop it. Yeah, hopefully... No way it's gonna be there and it's basically his fault. For once. Uh, no, yeah, definitely. I, I really... I really do hope that... Uh, this video at least does something to stem the tide because uh, this is honestly the dumbest thing he has done in his entire career uh, and uh, that's uh, I, di I did kind of see a warning sign from that in, in one of his videos I'm not sure which one it was I did mention this in I think a previous recording that I had which was that he uh, he was talking in one of his videos talking about like how bad the gaming industry is uh, he ended up uh, making a commercial for a loan company and people were quick to find out that that's bullshit. Why would you get a sponsor from a loan company? Those guys are parasites. So, yeah. I'm not sure if that was worth mentioning, but, you know, I think that's just uh, another reminder that he's not perfect and he shouldn't be trusted. Yeah, like... For example, Mr. Means is an amazing example of this. Oh my god, don't even get For me once, started. Everyone thought that he was a saint, that he was an amazing person, and now... Alright, go ahead. Uh, we were oh. talking about uh, Mr. Beast, right? Yeah, basically, ever since like stuff about Mr. Beast came up, Mr. Beast was basically the saint of YouTube. He was the, the amazing you know, millionaire, billionaire, whatever, who is saving all these people, and now that the accusations came up, and information on him started snowballing and more people started talking about him, suddenly he's the most hated guy. Like, there's no influencer that is clean or that is basically good. Yeah. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that like, every single influencer is bad, but of course there's stuff you're not gonna know. I think the closest ever that we ever got to like a truly good YouTuber was a guy called, uh, I think it was... His name was uh, CoffeeZilla, right? Like, he actually has done work that is genuinely good, and um, I think that he, you know, deserves a lot more attention than Mr. Beast ever got. But yeah, to be honest. Absolutely. Like, he, he is the one exposing Logan Paul's crypto schemes and all the other crypto bullshit that. It's basically millions. It's millions of dollars that have gone missing and whatever. But also, another person I would probably shout out this way is Dan TDM. The guy the guy never changed, made a ton of people's childhoods and wow, he's really an amazing guy. He never changed. Wait. And that's good. Alright. So wait, it was Dan TDM, right? Yep. Nice. He's he's even the person that criticized KSI and basically Logan Paul and Mr. Beast for lunch product as well. Oh my god, and there's also the mold, which uh, has unfortunately bled out of control. That's definitely became a meme in and of itself. To be fair, like, that's, that's more of an issue with... Is that even the issue of, like, what do you say even to it? Like, they, they might use fresh ingredients, but it's, not, it's always not going to be in the perfect condition, so they should have adjusted to it. Like, yeah. Yeah... I honestly it's, think it's they should have dropped issue. the healthy advertisements and then that none of this would have ever happened because uh, I think the problem with Mr. Beast, especially with Feastables, is that he advertised it as like this healthy alternative and then all of a sudden he pulled the rug under us and he changed the formula and then and now he's collaborating with two scammers and you know and that's on top of all the you know allegations uh, against them yeah, and, and his partner in the crime. The surprising thing about it is I have no idea how Logan Paul managed to keep his career 
because the first time I heard about him was when he recorded Dead Body in like, was it 2015, 17? Geez, I'm old. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a long time ago, and now people don't even remember it. And the second thing that they know is how he scammed his viewers from like, was it like 2 million? Was it more? Like, the guy is such a scam artist and such a fraud and such an asshole that I have no idea how he wasn't banned or, and basically wiped off the platform yet. Uh, it's impressive. I'm guessing it's just the whole, there's no, there's no such thing as bad publicity mechanic going on, which I, I never saw that as a good thing. It's always kind of just perpetuated bad things. Uh, Either that, or I think uh, to YouTube, he was just too valuable of a cash cow, which says a lot. But yeah, absolutely. It's too valuable. Basically, it's the same as the. It's uh, basically the same as the sniper wolf situation. Like, as long as they make money, YouTube won't care. Honestly, with sniper wolf, it was a lot more mask off for YouTube because, uh, uh, yeah, no, they definitely there was an obvious crime being committed, and they just did not care they just said yeah we're gonna try to intervene but we're not yeah like YouTube they never cared like, let's be honest they never listened to the community anyway so anyway uh, how do you uh, plan to end this because I have no idea we're kind of we kind of went a bit off course with the commentary on YouTube so uh, I don't know well basically yeah, Charlie should do more research, and yeah, that's about it. The AI is not the issue with the parents. That that's really all. The only the only real issue in this is basically the marketing towards kids. Nothing else. All you right. can't say anything bad about the AI itself. Pretty much. I mean, these are customizable after all. Uh, any final thoughts, yeah. Rue, before I end the recording for good? Well, I can definitely understand from experience what it's like having a grieving parent, and I can understand that it's definitely hard for them, and they're most likely in denial about the whole situation. But I feel like making it public by suing Character AI in the first place is just going to make it so much worse for them. It's just going to put them on a pedestal. Yeah, I doubt his yeah. ghost is going to rest easy after this. Yeah, they basically humiliated the kid. It's just disrespectful. Yeah, but like leaking the kid's private chatbot, basically messages, that's that's something else. That is some shitty parenting right there. Absolutely. Alright, uh, please like and subscribe, uh, hit the bell and then... Uh, hit the bell on the top when you hit subscribe and uh, make sure you uh, leave a comment because... Uh, I want to make sure you know, guys uh, like this stuff because, you know, maybe this could be a new direction or something. I'll still try and do the whole 3D animations, but uh, for now, I'll just uh, leave it at that. Peace. And hopefully, I'll be here next time. Bye. Bye-bye.